What's up guys? Today I'm back on Redneck Doings. It's late in the evening, but it's still Saturday. It may be almost 4.30, but I promised I'd post a video every Saturday. And today I'm coming to you with a video. I sound like the professional, don't I? But I ain't. I'm coming to you with a video. We're making us a quail run. Right here with all this wire. About 30 foot long. It's going to... I gotta haul the pin, and it's going to be a run way down through there. And so I'm gonna get the building, and I'll catch you guys in a minute. But before we get to that, let me tell you guys something. Today to this Saturday, I have 39 subscribers. When I hit 40 subscribers, when this video goes posted, if I hit 40 subscribers, next Saturday I will go live when I go live it's gonna be an hour or two long so get ready and I'm gonna tour the whole entire farm from front to back and inside out and everything I will tour the whole entire farm for you guys once I hit 40 subscribers right now we'll work on this quail ruin but don't forget to subscribe so we can have 40 subscribers and I can tour the whole farm for you guys because I think that'd be fun. If we do hit 40 subscribers before next Saturday, next Saturday at 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, don't forget, Saturday at 8 o'clock, I will go live. Well, maybe not 8 o'clock. Forget 8 o'clock. Saturday, I will go live. I will post a short video saying when I, what time I will go live. So no, I, right now, let's get back to this. And don't forget, we're, if we hit 40 subscribers, we'll go live next Saturday at some time. So let's get back to work. I also forgot to mention what I am using today is one of these right here. Come off a little thing. That's what we're hammering in the ground. It's about a foot and a half long. Forgot to mention that. That's what we're using to hammer this wire down into the ground. If you're going to wonder why I ain't posted all day, it's because I've been helping a friend with, plus we were building some stuff, helping a friend. He didn't wish to have his name put in the video, so. And it's the same friend that gave me this. Still didn't wish to have his name put in the video, but we're going to have this done. And I forgot to say that this the quails may not be in this today. I may put them in there sometime next week, but I will still show them in the next video, take, saying something back to this video. And I also want to say a special thank you to you people who dropped a comment. I read your comments that you put, and some of them were funny, and I read them all, and I like, well, not like, but I don't like having you guys comment because i read them every single one and i don't see there's no reason why you can't and i can comment back so every now and then go back and check the comment that you dropped because i can comment on my own video so i can talk to you if i wish to so don't forget to drop a comment like and subscribe to my videos because my videos are really good and I forgot to say, if this video hits 20 likes, if I can get 20 likes on this video from 39 subscribers, I will do a video about where we finish up a pen I've already got halfway done. It has to be done before February, because I'm getting some Bob Whites. That was what, well I didn't post a video, but I was going to make a video about. But we're getting Bob Whites come February, so... Drop 20 likes. If I can get 20 likes on this video, we will do a video about the Bob White pen. I may show it in this video. I may not. But I will say if I do. But if we can get 20 likes on this video, I will show the Bob White. We will make a video on the Bob White pen. I also forgot to tell you guys. This is January right now. My lips may look like I have lipstick on. It's because they're chapped really bad from being out in the cold. It's been 13 degrees. 
So don't make fun of that. Forget that. Forget that's there. I ain't got lipstick. <laughs> it's chap. Well, not chapstick. My lips are chapped. And I forgot to say on my video, and I'm going to say it now. If you guys can get me to 1K subscribers by the end of the year, I'll do something special for all the subscribers. If I can get 1K subscribers before the end of the year. So, please go down and subscribe. I done said it a couple times. But it is my personal goal to get 1K subscribers before the end of the year. I now have the tunnel built. I don't know where I was going. It's about 20 foot long. It's not very tall. But it ought to work for seven quails. So, just like that. Camera magic. Only YouTubers know how to do it. Not really. And it goes down here and stops right there. So my feet, uh, not a foot, but we weren't. It's about 20 foot long. So I'm now going to go get the cage and put it at the end. You know what? I changed my mind. We're going to put the quails in it today. When, even though it might get dark in 30 minutes. Well, it will. We are now going to move the cage and put it over there. And then I'll show you the cage once we get over here. We now have the cage over here. It had some leaves on it from sitting up. I got to take this door off. And then we can put it right up against there. It's pretty old, but it'll work. It's a, one of those. Screwed all that. And it's going to go to our run. I got to get some reinforcement for the back. So the back's coming apart a little. Handmade. I really like it. And then I made us a dust pan back there that I got to put some more shavings in. Right, right now, I am going to go get the drill so I can unscrew that. And then, we'll move it up against it, show you that, and then we'll go get the quails. I now have our Dewalt drill with the battery in it. We'll set it down right here. Walk over to my man cave slash shop where we keep all the tools that I call my man cave that I do all my little projects in. It's a sort of a wreck. But, we'll go over there and get the Phillips bit and extender. And we'll go unscrew it and get it done. We're right here right now. I'm going to put it in there. I got to water them today. They ain't got water, but I got to water them. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And that one and that one. And that one. Seven of them. One of them got double counted. But now, that, wait a second. I got to lock this. Now, we are going to go find the extender and the Phillips bit. After we looked at the quail. Sorry about, sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. But now, turn on the light in my shop. Walk over here to my tool cabinet. Open this. Look at these. Let's see. Can't really look through the phone on that. Wait a second. And here we have it. Our Phillips head and extender. Go hook this bad boy up to the drill. Unscrew it. And we're going to shove her up against there, and we're going to be in business. That Phillips bit didn't want to work. It stripped. Believe me, I know how to operate a drill. I built a lot of stuff. Those quail shacks, you see. Built them with a drill all by myself, and only stripped one bit. That bit stripped because it was old and rusty. That wasn't a brand new one. I got to go get my new bits out of the house. Well, not new, but my other bits. I now found us another Phillips bit. I... Figured out my problem. That Phillips bit was very too small. It unscrewed one screw, so I kept on going. But the problem was, it was too small. We got us a bigger one. Now we're gonna try this again. We now have the door undone, so now we're gonna move it into place and show you the finished product without the quail. I now have her done there. You might say, what are you gonna do about that humongous gap going around it? Well, I'm gonna get me a political sign. You might. Ezra, why are you picking up political <clears throat> people's political signs? They need them so they can get voted. So that way they can get elected and all that stuff. I go around after the election. When people have been elected and their signs are useless, piece of trash. Pick them up and use them for chicken. Yeah, chicken pens. Because they work perfectly fine. It's a good piece of plastic. And now after that election, it's just trash. 
got our political sign. It was from Ann something. Elect Judge Anna Antia. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Something Kelly. I don't know. Something. It's a political sign that is more than a year old that I've had been using for stuff. Now we're going to cut a little hole in it, shove it up in there, and go get the quails and see how they like it. And then I'm going to do something. I now have my knife. It's a scrape. Or no, I can't say that. Now I'm going to cut. Now that we have a little hole cut in our political sign, we'll see if it will fit. Hopefully it'll fit. <clears throat> Let's see. Just have to push the cage back. Shove it up in there. Give me a second. It didn't fit, so what other was I supposed to do than grab my knife and cut the hole bigger? And it now fits just perfect, and they have a hole to get in and out of their run. Okay, let's go get the quails. We are now in the quail pen, going to catch the quails. I now have all the quails <coughs> caught, and we are now fixing to blow the door open, and into sunlight we come. And my eyes get weird sometimes, don't they? There. Now, whoa, sit still, birdies. You gotta get you out. Oh, what am I doing? The door is not meant for transporting boxes in and out. It's only a foot, maybe a, maybe two foot, maybe a foot and a half wide. It's not very big. Now, everybody's sitting down in there. We'll see. I don't want to sit still, but they're doing good. I'll show you them better when we get to where we're putting them. I now have the door open and is going to put, I am going to put quail in. Let's just hurry up and do it. I'm going to put you guys right there. You sit right there and you can see them when they come out. This will take me a second. So just hold tight. They'll come out in just a sec. Give me a second. And they're now coming out of the moving container and coming, peeking out the door. They don't want to all come out of the tray. Get out, you last little bird. Booger. Something. They're now starting to come outside. That one is just holding the camera as it looks. Go, birdies. Get along, little birdies. Go, birdies. Shoe birdies. Go birdie. The last little three birds are coming. We so far have four in the house run and none in the big run so far. We are fixing to have some quails go in the big run, hopefully. I'll try to get them in there and then I'll show you. We have three little birds. One's just walking along making little birdie noise. Next one walking along making little birdie noises. The last one is at the end making little birdie noises. The other four are, at, are over here making little birdie noises wondering where their friends are. But their friends are having very much fun down there in the ruin. We have five little birdies down there at the end. The last two want to be rascals and not come out so I can catch them and put them in the run because they don't want to go in the run for some reason. But now that the ones that are in there are literally loving it. We now have we now have all seven little birds out here in the run. Walk along you. Go you. Go you. Walk along you. Get along you. He hurt his head just a little. Just, just a little bleeding. Just barely. She knocked his head feathers off on the thing. All seven birds down here in the run playing around. We haven't totally finished it. I ran out of stakes. But they have a good 20 feet. And then they go up in that little run off the ground. And then their house. Gotta fix my boot. It's being aggravating. But as of now wait a second. Wait another second and another. I still want everybody that's watching to subscribe because I want to hit 1K subscribers before the end of the year. And if I do, I already said it, but I'm going to say it again. I will do something very, very, very special for all my subscribers. And then, I also want you to subscribe 
because whenever I hit 40 subscribers, I will go live. And if I do hit 40 subscribers, excuse me, I will be going live this Saturday. So every day, check back on the channel to see if there's a po poster put up on the channel's main page saying what time we're going to have the live so everybody can watch the live as I'm posting it. I will also have my dad's tablet that my bro brother accidentally broke. And I'm going to be able to look at the comments and also comment myself while doing the live video. So don't forget to check in for the live video while we're doing it because you won't regret watching it because it will be something very fun and entertaining. So don't forget to check in and sit down and have some fun because we're going to be having a live video this Saturday if we hit 40 subscribers. So don't forget to go down there, subscribe, like, and comment because I enjoy reading every single comment that is put at the bottom of my video. Also, do I talk too fast? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Tell me in the comments. We'll see you next time on Redneck Doings. We'll blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to like, subscribe and like to Redneck Doings. We'll see you next time. Bye.